And it's just so many different ways that it, that entities could be leveraged. Um, just creative expression, because if you are in the beauty industry, what if you are an artist too? Like these these are ways that you can start to combine your passions. If you have a passion, if you're a, a music artist too, like this is a way that you can combine your passion for music with you know NFTs and what you do in the beauty world. It's just so many different um, ways that you can drive engagement to to your page and just a way to enrich like loyalty and build community. Welcome to the Friends in Beauty podcast, a safe space for ambitious beauty industry creatives to have real talk, get real answers and practical tools to grow their businesses. My name is Aquia Robinson and I'm a makeup artist, beauty educator and the creator of Friends in Beauty. I created Friends in Beauty to support like-minded creatives just like you on their quest to connect, network, and build genuine relationships within the beauty community. Join me every week as me and my special guests reveal the keys to success and longevity in the beauty industry, and most importantly, have fun while doing it. You ready? Hey, what's up? It's your best friend in beauty, Aquia Robinson. Welcome back to another episode of the Friends in Beauty podcast. I am so happy to have you here with me, and I hope you're listening to this episode in high spirits and in good health. If you are a friend in beauty, I welcome you to join the Friends in Beauty Facebook community. If you're looking for a community of like-minded, ambitious friends in beauty to virtually connect with, network, and share resources, then click the link down below in the show description to join our community, and I'll be there to welcome you with open arms. Also, follow Friends in Beauty on all social media platforms at Friends in Beauty. What I like to do is something called the Friends in Beauty Friday feature, where every Friday I spotlight a different friend in beauty and their accomplishments. So no matter how big or small you think it is, I want to shout you out. I want to send you some good vibes. So all you have to do is use the hashtag FIB Friday feature, tag Friends in Beauty on something that you have accomplished, and I'll share it with the community. Additionally, the Friends and Beauty podcast is available on several platforms. We're on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google, YouTube, you name it. And whatever platform you are listening from right now, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into the Friends and Beauty podcast. I truly appreciate you so much. And I would love it even further if you took the time to leave a five-star rating, a review, a comment, a like, a share, a subscribe, a something to let me know how you feel about the Friends and Beauty podcast. I would absolutely love it. And also, I have to tell you that you should join the Friends and Beauty mailing list tribe if you haven't already because they are the first to know about all things Friends and Beauty and I send out different business resources, tips and advice throughout the week. So if that's something that you're interested in, the link for that will be in the description as well. And last but not least, the most important thing is to share the Friends and Beauty podcast with your other friends in beauty, your family, your friends, anybody that you think could benefit from the information that is being shared share 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 a way to help me grow the friends and beauty community now on this episode of the friends and beauty podcast i want to do something a little bit different and i want to talk to you about this new craze that has been buzzing around the world or the digital world um as of lately which is nfts i want to talk to you about the world of nfts and what that means for the beauty industry because quite a few beauty brands have started to tap into this space and it's something that is very intriguing to me i've always been very intrigued by like crypto and stocks and just those like digital forms of currency ever since they started to come onto the scene and even stocks i was like obsessed with like that type of thing um when i was younger but i want to talk to you about nfts in the world of beauty so basically like what is an nft how nfts are showing up in the beauty industry the potential impact that it has and like what do you think this is going for the future so um i've been doing something for like the last two months if you follow me on my personal page then you know that every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, me and my girl Dayana, we go live on Instagram and have NFT convos. And she said something the other day that really intrigued me and made me want to do this episode. And um, she's way more immersed into the NFT space than I am. I'm merely there as just like a, a host. And like even when I come across like NFT um 
content and everything like that. I send it to her. I read it and everything. And I I never forget the day that she called me like super excited about NFTs. I think it was the day that it actually like clicked for her and the potential that she saw in it. She was just like super excited and giving me like so many different ideas that I can use um, in my business, which I can um, kind of touch on in a little bit. But she was super duper excited about the vision um, for how NFTs are going to change the world. So um, we've been doing those chats for about two months. We had our episode number eight the other day. That's how I know it's been two months. Um, we had our eighth episode. So we basically um, talk about like the basics of NFTs, the different collections that are coming out, how to not um, get scammed and all, just all types of different things that we talk about. But when it comes to the world of beauty, um, just in case you don't know what an NFT is, an NFT stands for non-fungible token. Um, you can definitely do your own research on it. But the um, um, the easiest definition that I have found basically says that NFTs are elect. NFTs are electronic tokens that represent the unique and genuine possession of a digital or real asset or concept. It acts as a digital imprint of possession, preventing stolen, preventing stolen, duplicated, or modified rights. And I got that from medium.com. Let me read that again because I feel like that was a little bit choppy. So NFTs are electronic tokens that represent the unique and genuine possession of digital or real asset or concepts. It acts as a digital imprint of possession, preventing stolen, duplicated, or modified modified rights. So basically, um, I always say that it's like the the ultimate receipt. Essentially, the original authentic authenticity. <laughs> essentially, like the original authenticity card. Like it's like a digital stamp on what they call the blockchain. So. Um, it stamps the ownership rights, like whatever NFT that you buy, it stamps your ownership rights on the blockchain and prevents those rights from being stolen, replicated, or altered. So like these items or ideas or products or whatever, they can be bid on or sold on the blockchain platforms, like blockchains for like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana. These are like different cryptocurrencies. It gets a little bit complicated. That's why I say you should do your own research. But those are like the... um the basics of it. And when these items are like sold on the blockchain platforms, it could be sold for as little as, or as much value um, that it wants. But I really want to talk about how NFTs are showing up in the beauty industry because this is really exciting to me. Even with me um looking into some things to kind of like um bring to you on this episode, I came across something really exciting that I want to share with you. So I came across someone named Gracie J and I totally now have to get her on the Friends of Beauty podcast. So keep an eye out for that because she is freaking dope. So Gracie J is one of the first, um, from what I'm seeing, um, they're saying that she's one of the first um, people in the beauty industry to kind of jump into the digital um, space as far as NFTs. So as of lately, we kind of been seeing, if you've heard about NFTs, you've probably been seeing them as far as um, like digital artwork or um, music or something like that. And there's so many other things that can be done with NFTs. Um, just anything digital. So even my course creators and people like get your wheels turning. Okay. But Gracie J, she is a nail artist. I'm not sure where she's located. I did see the Haitian flag in her, um, in her bio on Instagram, but she created her own, um, like digital piece of art coupled with a song. Like, so she created a song and I believe, um, is it the artwork? Let me see. So I'm confused whether the artwork and the song were sold as NFTs, but I know for sure that the artwork was sold as as an NFT and it's so freaking cute. So the song that she made is called Cut Me That Check. Cut Me That Check, right? So the digital piece of artwork I'm looking at, it's like a green hand and it has its hand in the position of like, if you're like doing that money, like, I don't know, if you're rubbing your fingers together, like, ooh, I got a lot of money. It's like in the position like that, but it has these fire ass press on nails on and y'all know if you don't know <laughs> your girl I I freaking love press on nails so it's a gif of an animated hand wearing her nail design um and what it what this what happens when somebody buys this NFT they're not only buying um 
or having that digital piece of art as ownership, they also get a limited edition pair of press on nails. The nails that the um the gift is wearing, they get a limited edition pair of press on nails. Like that is so like that's a collection that I can get down with. And I don't know if she's gonna do more, but I wish I would have known about this one because <laughs> I definitely would have um <clears throat> I definitely would have jumped on that for sure. Um, I think that's just such a cool idea. So if you're like a nail tech or makeup artist or anything. There's so many ways that we can do this. Even as a makeup artist, you can create a digital piece of artwork for a lipstick or whatever, and then um, on the back end, sell the lipstick. So what? So one thing that NFTs do as well is you're not only buying the piece of art, they also have something called like smart contracts. So depending on the piece of art or piece of whatever that you're purchasing as an NFT, um. They, the person that is selling that NFT also can write in on the back end a contract that you get a digital, I mean, you get a physical product or maybe you get a percentage of future sales or maybe you want to sell that um, that NFT one day for somebody, to somebody else. And since you bought it on the, um, the blockchain with cryptocurrency, maybe that cryptocurrency has appreciated by now. So you're going to make the profit. It's so many different things that you can put in as the um on the smart contract as a what is the word that I'm looking for as a deliverable for the person like a physical deliverable um for the person that's purchasing your entity so I thought that was like super duper cool the one that I saw for the first time when I um heard about NFTs and I'm like hmm I wonder how people are using this in the beauty industry the first one that I saw that I knew that it kind of authenticated it for me to make it known that know that it's real so like if I see big brands like jumping into you know things like that which many big brands have and many celebrities and like everything um, the first one that I saw was NARS. So when I first looked up NFTs in the beauty industry, I came across NARS and NARS had recently um they got they commissioned three three NFT pieces from three different artists to commemorate their hero their um blush orgasm. So it's like different um pieces of art with like lips doing, you know, different things. This one is like a sparkly, um, maybe one of the yeah, one of the you know how NARS logo is the lips. So basically, <clears throat> basically all of the um the art pieces are like representations of their logo. But this one is like sparkly lips. It has like an ocean in the mouth. Very very interesting. Other brands like I was very surprised to see that Elf even jumped onto the bandwagon for um NFTs. Um, Elf released three limited well three editions of three different NFT items, um, basically totaling nine different things. What they did was um, one of their their primers or something. It's super cute what they did. Um, but one of their primers, it looks like a little gold coin. So, you know, you're basically buying the NFT of or the, the picture of the item, but you also get the physical item in person. Givenchy Perfumes, um, they also did... Um, they went to auction off 1,952 copies of a digital artwork in favor of the LGBTQ plus um, nonprofit organization. Um, I can't pronounce that. It's like in French, but it's like Le Magunge. I don't know <laughs> that association, but they did that. But it's so like so many brands and people are jumping into this space. And I really, really need to talk to J uh, Gracie J. Um, the thing that intrigued me to even want to do a little bit more research um, and talk about this on the podcast is Dayana told me that the other day, L'Oreal, I had to research this too, and I know how to research this thanks to Shanti and Maria, our trademark expert, but um, L'Oreal put in about 14 trademarks for future NFTs. So if that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what does. So I'm really curious. I really want to be nosy and go on the um, trademark database and, you know, do my research to see what those those um, those future NFT trademarks are. But yes, and even TikTok. TikTok has even announced that it's going to start selling its viral videos as NFTs, which means that someone can buy 
like a makeup tutorial or beauty how to with digital currency like Bitcoin or Ethereum, Solana or something like that and own that that look as a collectible and think about it in terms of say just for example if like Pat McGrath, somebody like that, like Pat McGrath or Sir John did a makeup tutorial, beauty how to, and you you purchased it with a uh, Bitcoin or something like that. And Bitcoin appreciates up to like, I don't know where it is right now. I remember when I was trading, it was like 50 at 50. So let's say Bitcoin appreciates to like $80,000. You can make that profit if you decide like in the back end of that, if they say, Hey, if you resell this, you can get, you know, whatever percent plus whatever it appreciates in the market. It just like, cause, because people like Pat McGrath have a big name. And even if they didn't have a big name, um, investing in people, even like myself, if I was to come out with an NFT, I don't necessarily have a big, big name right now, but in the future with me building my brand, I might be a big deal one day. And then you, when you sell that, you can make some money. So they've already started to play around with it or saying that they're going to start releasing some viral videos as NFTs, um, but you can own that as a collectible. They already launched uh, a creator-led um, NFT collection. It's like a compilation of trending videos. It's called TikTok um, Top Moments. So TikTok is even jumping it into the NFT space, but I want to talk about like the potential impact that this could really have for us. Oh, before I do that, I want to I also want to mention as far as um cuz I did mention like brands and stuff like that, but when it comes down to people like myself who do like digital courses or digital products and stuff, even those digital products could be um NFTs. It could be a digital product NFT for like a membership or um people are even making podcasts as NFTs, but on the back end in that smart contract, you can um, have as a deliverable that they get to attend like live events or something like that, or they get to attend the boot camp in person or whatever you want to they get. They get to um have a t-shirt, whatever you want to add into it. You can totally turn your course, your podcast, your ebook, your whatever digital product, you can totally turn that into an NFT. So as far as the direct, I mean, the as far as the impact that it's going to have or could potentially have on the beauty industry, um, NFTs are allowing for direct engagement between like the marketers and the consumers. So basically brands can control their messaging and their product flow into the marketplace without any interruption from like third party third party retailers or media partners. So it's going straight from the brand to the consumer. Okay. So brands can also this is also just a new way for even brands or just us as beautypreneurs to establish a new form of revenue. Like even just starting out, it doesn't even have to be anything crazy. This is basically like messing around with like investing in crypto and all that stuff. You're basically in using cryptocurrency to do this. So if that's something that you're into, this could be definitely a new new stream of income because not only can you sell um NFTs, but you could also be a collector of NFTs. I actually purchased my first NFT about a month ago, y'all. I'm super excited about that. But now I'm more I'm even more um curious. I can't say that word without my DC accent popping up. <laughs> I'm even more curious to see or start to look into um these brands in the beauty industry. I think that might be my my lane because I with you know talking to Diana, she um her 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 brand is more so like Mary Jane and psychedelics and stuff like that. So those are the type of collections that she's interested in. But I'm really interested to see what these beauty brands are going to come out with and like invest in it that way. And that's another way that you can make money too, because depending on whatever is in that contract, um, you could be um making money from just owning owning the collection, you know. So um, definitely new revenue streams um, do primary and secondary sales of the digital artwork, the physical merchandise, or just doing like live events. And it's just so many different ways that it, that entities could be leveraged, um, just creative expression. Because if you are in the beauty industry, what if you are a, a artist too? Like this, these are ways that you can start to combine your passions. If you have a passion, if you're a, a music artist too, like this is a way that you can combine your passion for music with, you know, NFTs and what you do in the beauty world. It's just so many different um, 
ways that you can drive engagement to to your page and just a way to enrich like loyalty and build community because a lot of the, a lot of times with these nfts not a lot of times all of these nfts like these big collections have a community that is centered around them so people like gary v a lot of people know who gary v is um big communities centered around um his nft collections and once you're a part of that community you have access to those people as long as they're in the community so it's not just regular people like us in these communities that are um purchasing nfts but they're celebrities they're um thought leaders like ceos all types of people in these communities so it's it's kind of like lessening the gap between like having access to people too because imagine if you invest in like a Gary V one and he's having his thing Vcom so you invest in his um his NFT and he has his own conference that's coming up as a deliverable for the next several years that you can attend just from being an owner of that that uh collection so many people are going to come out to that conference you just never know um, it's always it seems like it's like another networking tool. You just never know who you who you'll meet from just having access to that. So, what do you think about it? Like, I know that was a mouthful, but I'm really excited to see how this is gonna um, unfold. Like, do you think like cryptocurrency will change the way we exchange and interact with beauty? Because really, think about it. Think about the way that we even purchase in products right now without credit cards i think when the pandemic first started and they started doing that like that tap thing with the credit card i'm like whoa this is fancy like imagine how we're even paying for our products now with the the tapping and the chips even the chip wasn't even a thing a few years ago so imagine how um cryptocurrency is going to change the way that we interact with beauty and even with the elf um nft you don't all all of these nft collections you don't always have to have um cryptocurrency in order to purchase them you can also purchase them with um your credit card i know i mean elf did something like that we can purchase with your credit card but think about it also what do you think about the nft space is it something that you think you want to jump into are you still a little skeptical about it do you think you create your own nft let me know, let me know, let me know. Let me know if you want more information about this. Also, tune in to um, Dayana and I's NFT Convos every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Instagram. Her page is at just Dayana, J-U-S-T-D-E-Y-A-N-A. And of course, mine is Aquia Robinson, A-K-U-A Robinson. But we normally alternate um week by week so one week we'll go live on my page next week we'll go live on her page but all of those um lives are saved if you want to go back and look at it from the very beginning we go through like what is it nft we go through like the blockchains the um different um cryptocurrencies we talk about so much she even talked about like different stories that she had with dealing with the nfts how to find collections how to be a collector we've talked about so so much so definitely go back and listen to those also, I'm really super excited to share with you that I will be hosting my first event in two years. So March 15th, 2020 was the last time I had a Friends and Beauty event, but we are officially kicking off this year's Friends and Beauty events with celebrating my 100th and 11th episode of the Friends and Beauty podcast in style in Washington, D.C. is going down on April 15th, 2020. I have some amazing guests lined up so far. I have Tayana Robinson coming through to be interviewed for the 111th episode of the Friends of Beauty podcast, Beauty Business Strategist, Tayana Robinson. Also, I have Muslima Carpenter, also known as Moose Loves You on Instagram. She is an amazing makeup artist, content creator, and educator. She'll be coming through because I really want to talk to her about this viral moment that she had. She did this makeup transition um, doing Missy Elliott's um, um, inspiration. Girl, she killed it. So super duper excited to have them in the building. More guests to be announced in the coming weeks, but early bird tickets are on sale until Friday, 
March 18th. So go ahead and grab your early bird tickets. This is something that you are not going to want to miss. If you've ever been to a Friends of Beauty event before, then you already know how we get down. All right. You already know how we get down. It's lots and lots of fun. We always networking. We're always connecting. But it just doesn't feel that way because we're just in a room full of good vibes and good people. All right. So April 15th, come out and um connect. We do have VIP options available where you can mix and mingle with all of our special guests and VIP guests and get priority seating at the event. So I'm so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I'm First of all, I'm just so excited to see my friends in beauty in person and just to be able to do a live podcast. How dope is that? Oh, I'm so, I'm just so excited. So definitely click the link down below for um information on how to register and I hope that you can make it even if you come from out of town like just come through like it's just something to be said about getting into the room just being in the room with people you just never know who you meet and what can happen all right so that is all I have for you today for this episode of the friends of beauty podcast I hope that you enjoyed this um this is like a little peek into my life because nfts is definitely something that I have been immersed in so let me know if you found this helpful if you found it intriguing if you want me to continue to bring you more resources like this and just continue to talk about this as it continues to grow and I will talk to you next week on another episode of the friends of beauty podcast Bye. Thanks for listening to the Friends in Beauty podcast. Don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this episode with at least one friend in beauty and subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts so that other friends in beauty can find this show. Plus, we'd love to hear your feedback. Connect with us on all social media platforms at Friends in Beauty hashtag friends and beauty to join the conversation and join our friends and beauty facebook community to stay connected talk to you soon